Greetings everyone and welcome to a new series for my channel where I will be covering the game Stardew Valley which is actually due to be released in about two days time. I've been afforded early access thanks to the developers that is Concerned Ape published by Chucklefish who you may recognize from Starbound. Stardew Valley is, well... The best way I can describe it is, is is a throwback to the Harvest Moon days, or even Rune Factory. So, if you like farming sims with a dash of RPG and a splash of story, then this is the game for you. And we're going to be jumping straight into the game. Now, I haven't um, done much more than just... Cr uh, play up through the intro sequence and the character creation just to test the recording environment so this is going to be very very uh, new to me so we will learn together as we go of course our name shall be Avak uh, farm name shall be uh, we'll come back to that one we will have a dog of course my favorite thing in the world is tea um, I'm gonna have to have a think of this one I'm afraid it's probably one of these things that I need to set early on um, you know what? I'm thinking of growing my hair back out at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah, I never had my hair like that, but we'll go for a long hairstyle. Nor did I ever have my hair like that. <laughs> uh, my goodness. Um, well, except for the fringe, I had my hair like that quite a lot. Uh, let's go through... We want a, want a, a long hairstyle for a gentleman, please. I kind of had my hair like that for a little while. Um, no parting, though. Let's just keep going. Uh, no, that's, that's a little bit too... Too emo for my taste. Um, uh, well, a bit of a dinky ponytail, but I suppose it'll work. Uh, okay, let's see. What kind of shirts do we have? Ooh, black shirt. Uh, black shirt with skull. That's just so tacky. Uh, let's go through. See if we've got any good jackets. We need a working jacket. That looks like it might work. Keep on going, though. Let's see what else there is to see. Oh, a heart. I'm actually tempted. Also, another working jack. Yeah, yeah, I actually quite like that one. Accessories. Oh, you know where my heart lies, game. But what the... Wow, okay. You've got a duck. You've got some sort of crazy... Nose from a villager in Minecraft. Shades. Very cool. Scarf. Super I can see the moon specs. Super I can see the moon robo visor. Uh, old man eyebrows? Lipstick? Oh, okay. Earrings, I imagine. Ah, there we go. Ah, it's a big old full beard. Um, but let's see if we can't get a beard. That is kind of like mine, only that I don't have mine at the moment. Because I had to shave it off because I'm sick. Uh, that's why I haven't shown my face on stream in the last couple of streams. I'm too ashamed. I can't let my face see the light of day until I grow my beard back. Such is the way of a man. Uh, farm name. Uh, you know what? Dapper Dell. I think that would be a lovely farm name. We're not going to skip the intro. Because I haven't watched all the way through it yet. Uh, eye color. Let's go for kind of... Well, my eyes aren't quite that pale. Nor are they quite that rich. That's a, that's about my eye color. Hair color is more or less all right. Need a little bit darker, perhaps. Uh, yeah, that's... But right, yeah, there we go. And pants color. Um, well, they're a little bit vibrant for jeans that you wear to work. Let's wash out the colour a little bit. It's been through the wash a couple of times. These are jeans that aren't afraid to get muddy in the line of duty. There we go. I think we are ready. Okay. Let's go and have a look at this intro. And for my very special grandson... Move this on. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Uh, it probably would be very rude for me to hurry my grandfather along while he's on his bed. Thank you very much for the uh, envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I think it's a little bit of mean of you to call me your very special grandson, though. That kind of implies that you don't like the others. Now, listen closely. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burdens of modern life. Oh, wow. 
I think that day has already come and gone. That's why I'm doing YouTube. And your bright spirit will fade before the growing emptiness. Oh, okay. This is going in a direction I don't like. It's a little bit too close to home. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. Next to the fire, which really, you're sleeping way too close to. XX years later. Joja, join us, thrive, work, rest. Uh. Terminated, oh no. Woody, what? Also, those meds, dude. We've had, we've had a word about this. The cleanliness in this office environment is somewhat lacking. There's also a skeleton over there. Has no one noticed that someone has died? Wow, this really does actually feel just like working in a call center. They've got crappy computers as well. Oh my goodness. It's like I've just gone back like three years of my life. Very nice ornate wax seal there. Dear Avak, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belonged. In my case, I dropped everything and moved to Scotland and started doing YouTube. Also, learning how to make AIs to crush the people who made me work in call centers. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Dapper Dell Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? All right. It's gonna be an awkward conversation. Uh, hi, are you Lewis? Um, my grandfather said to say hi. You apparently knew him. He's dead. I assume he's dead. He might just be napping. It might just be one of these things. Ah, I don't need it anymore. You can have it. I'm going to choose to believe that. Grandpa is still comfortably napping next to his fireplace. Trying to think of ways to tell his other grandchildren how they're the special ones as well. But they don't get the, the farm. Because, I mean, come on. That is a bit of a dick move. Sardew Valley. 0 0.5. Ah, oh, Miles. What country am I living in? This sounds terrible. Wow, that bus also sounds terrible. Hello, Avak. Uh, you must be Avak. Robin. Oh, what a lovely name. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Very well. What? This is Dapper Del Farm. I, 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 this looks more like some sort of barren wasteland, honestly. It appears that I agree. Ah, oh, well done, me. Virtual me. You've got your head screwed on. Call this a farm? What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit, over, a bit overgrown. It's like a jungle. I'm surprised a, a puma hasn't jumped out and tried to eat me. But there are, there's some good soil underneath that mess. Well, at least you recognize it as a mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. This is pretty much a staple of Rune Factory, Harvest Moon, any game like that. You're just given a bombshell of a place, and it's like, yeah, here you go. It's a fixer-upper. Builds character. Which I suppose it does, in a way. Uh, okay. Let's see my house. There's a hole on my porch. What the dickens? And here we are, your new home. Ah! Burglar! Ah, oh, Lewis. Like the moustache, you have a friendly face. Also a dapper cap. Ah, the new farmer. Even if you were burgling me, I, I forgive you. That is a very dapper cap. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Also resident kleptomaniac. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, I don't know if you heard, but I too am quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very uh, rustic. Hmm, 
Actually, the house looks pretty good. Compared to the garden, the house looks like a mansion. Or rather, the quote-unquote farm. Rustic? That's one way of putting it. Krusty might be... Really? You just called my house Krusty? Robin, we've just met. We're not good enough friends for you to be using insult comedy like this. Rude. Also, text not in the right place. Don't listen to her, Avak. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you will buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, you look the sort. Hmm. Yes, yeah, you're just frustrated that Lewis is, has ratted you out. Uh, I forgive you anyway. I've only just met you. I refuse to be on bad terms with people I've only just met, even if they are scallywags. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some... Actually, I slept on the bus. It was a really, really long bus ride. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Ah, yes. The townspeople would appreciate that. Uh, I, too, would appreciate... Oh, wow, look at that. Ooh, that is an evil stare. If a cat gives you that stare, you know that you are probably not going to wake up the next time you go to sleep. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Okay, that's another staple of these sorts of games. Well, good luck. Thank you. Hopefully, luck won't be a part of this equation. Uh, oh, okay. Goodbye, Robin. Without a goodbye? Oh, he, Lewis must have really put her in a bad mood. Damn it, Lewis. Okay, I can move with Wasd. I can shift, run. Oh my lord, I run very, move very slowly. Check with the right mouse. Ooh, seriously? Oh, okay, this isn't quite a staple. Usually, you don't start with loads of different tools. You have to, like, work your way up to them. Okay, journal. New. Okay, introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, we've got time progressing, weather, date. No idea what that is. Uh, if we hit escape, we organize. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. We've got some things we can put on. Two rings, a hat, and some boots. Very well. Dapperdale Farm. Current funds, 500 G. Um, gold is... is I... I can't think of any places that use gold as, as a currency anymore, so that's probably something like um, Gil. Yeah, we're gonna go with Gil. This is this is actually in the Final Fantasy universe, Final Fantasy fourteen to be exact. Okay, so that's my inventory. This is my oh, I've got skills really. Do I just increase my farming, mining, foraging, fishing, combat? Combat? Ooh, it's a bit like Rune Factory. Harvest Moon and things like um, what was the other one? Uh, Animal Crossing don't tend to have combat. It's just kind of the social and farming aspects. Rune Factory, however, which of those three tends to be my favorite for this reason, does have combat. It has a little bit of adventuring mixed in. So you kind of can uh, mix up. Yeah, you go out farming in the morning, you don't slay monsters in a dungeon at night. It's, it's a good balance for, for your life, I feel. And it seems that we're going to have a little bit of combat here as well. Social. Oh my lord. You look grumpy. Now, if this is anything like Harvest Moon, or... Ooh, okay. Uh, I imagine this is how much they like us. And this is... Uh, maybe giving us gift. Things like uh, Harvest Moon do tend to have romance. That's a very big part of the overall story. So, I would be surprised if a few ladies and gentlemen in this list were not eligible bachelors slash bachelorettes. Uh, ooh, actually, okay, so this is the bus stop. Okay, we came down there. This is our farm. Uh, there's the ranch. Layers cottage. We'll be able to keep some animals. A, a, a wizard's tower? Wow. Sewer pipe? Really? Okay, well, I know I'm not going to catch any fish from this place. A sewer pipe just pumping straight into the ocean? My goodness. Lonely stone. Ah, Don't know what that is. Or what most of these are. Carpenter's shop. Home of Robin. Uh, Demetrius, Sebastian, and Maru. Uh, okay. Tent. Little place up there. No idea what it is. Community center. Joja Mart. Oh, no. Really? I've moved to another place with that bloody... Ah. Oh. Don't tell me I can get an actual job. It's like Tom Nook all over again. Stardew Valley, Museum and Library, Blacksmith, Mayor's Manor. 
Oh, graveyard. So, uh, two Willow Lane, home of Emily and Haley. One Willow Lane, home of Jody, Kent, and Sam. Oh, it's kind of cool that there's multiple people living in these places. A trailer, River Road, Saloon, Piers, a general store, community center. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. What else we got? Crafting. I can actually craft things. I can make a wooden fence, a gate, a chest, a torch, a wooden path, a gravel path, or a cobblestone path. Also a campfire. How wonderful. Fiber, wood, and stone provides a modest amount of light. Uh, collections. We've probably got loads of things we can collect through this. Okay. And, oh yes, please, auto run. Uh, always show tool hit. I have no idea what that is. Show merchant portraits, blah, 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 blah. Ambient tracks only. No, that's fine. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm fairly happy with this. Let us get out there. Right. <gasps> parsnip seeds. My favorite. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Okay, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe till, to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Cultivate and harvest the parsnip. Very well. Let's get out there. Right, let me have a look at this bloody hole. I I didn't mean to water the, the bloody hole. Got any mail? You don't have any mail. Okay, well fine. No one loves me. Now. Oh, this is this is nice. I can I can just use tools right from the onset. More games. Need Come back, little frog. Ah, you skedaddled. I wanted to be your friend. I totally didn't want to put you in a stew or anything. Look, you know, I've, all I've got is parsnip seeds, and I'm going to plant those. So I need to start thinking of survival here. Thank you. A farmer's got to keep his strength up, and a toad stew sounds disgusting, but sounds nutritious, I think. Maybe. Uh, let's chop down... Oh, no, that's my hoe. Aha! Okay, and I, I guess I can use this stuff for... Oh, I, just got, I got six wood. I can use this stuff for crafting, can I... Oh, fantastic. Okay, that was a bit annoying. Let me see. Always show tool hit location. Okay, that's better. Oh, can I just... Oh, that's useful. Uh, by that, I mean... In many games on the console, such as... Um, Animal Crossing... Uh, Harvest Moon, Room Factory... You tend to only be able to work directly in front of yourself. But it seems that... For the PC, this game is actually making use of the fact that I've got a mouse. So I can be working on tiles all around me rather than just the ones directly in front of my character. I'm picking up all sorts of things from this. My goodness, this place is a mess. I need to clear myself a nice area so that I can start doing some farming. Sorry, tiny little trees. Normally, I would allow you to live... To experience the world for a little longer before I chop you down, but uh, alas, I need the room. What about you, big tree? Our energy, wow. We've chopped down several small trees, we've done a load of rock cracking with a pickaxe, and I've just chopped down a normal sized tree, and now I'm chopping down the stump, and I'm, I'm only half tired. I'm pretty impressed with my character's endurance at the moment. There we go. Grab me some more doodats. Now let's, uh... Oop. Your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. Oh, okay, so I'm probably going to have to upgrade my axe. That is also another staple of these sorts of games. The ability to upgrade your tools. I suppose that I kind of was expecting that a little bit when it started me with the tools. Otherwise, it would be straying very far from the formula. Uh, let's also chop down these. And then I think we've got enough, enough room... I don't see a well anywhere for me to refill my watering can, so I'm going to assume I'm going to have to refill it down here. Now I've got 21 stones. Let's have a look at my crafting. What can I make with that? I can make a cobblestone path, a gravel path, campfire. Um, I'd need much more wood to make that, but let's go ahead and make myself a load. You know what? All of this. How can I pop these down then? 
Can I put them down here? I can, it seems. Let's get that all the way down. Oh, really? Ah, oh, there we are. Can I then... Oh, I can. That'll do. I guess I'll just do this. Oh, I ran out. Well, sorry. it. Okay, well, that that's kind of neat. This way I can build my little first farm down here, I guess. Ooh, got some extra seeds. Oh, I didn't. I got some clay. And... There we go. Now we should be able to plant all of these seeds. No? Yes? Yes. Perfect. And I'm going to assume I need to water them as well. Okay, yes. I need to water them on the first day. Good to note. Not all games require that. Can I water under my feet? Like a pro? Oh, I can. I am a pro farmer. Okay. I look so happy. Okay, can I fill my watering can? I can! Aha! See, this is this is my gamer experience coming out. Oh, 84 of 270. You get it, okay. I want some more cobblestone paths, though. What is this? I cannot pickaxe it, apparently. So there's probably some sort of decoration that is meant to be there. I've got a cave on my farm? Mm, I'm not sure I trust caves. There can be all sorts of nasties lurking in caves. Also, all kinds of treasure. Depending on the game, you, well, there might be lots of different parts of it. It's probably not just going to be farming, though that's likely going to be a very big part of the game. If this is anything like Room Factory or Animal Crossing, then uh, there's likely going to be a lot of different aspects to it. Gem mining, all that sort of stuff. It, if I have to upgrade my tools, probably need to supply the ingredients myself if it is anything like those other games. So we may end up actually setting up a proper little mine. Okay, more crafting, please. Loads more crafting. That'll do. Now, right now, I don't actually know what most of this stuff does, so... Can I get over there? Ah, oh, really? I can't? Scallywaggery. Okay, well, uh, I don't want it to be a double path, though. Oh, that's just annoying. It's very, very frustrating. Oh, well. I guess we'll live with it. Right, well, the very least, I'm going to drop off a bunch of the random odds and sods I've got. Let's see if I can't get enough to build a chest. Before I get completely exhausted. Uh, well, actually, it's three, ten past three. Let's, how about we just go and, no, no, I don't, I don't want to hold anything, please. Stop, stop carrying everything. What are you? Hello? I just picked up a daffodil. Oh, lovely. What's this? I just picked up a leek. I imagine most people won't get the significance, but the daffodil and the leek are like very important plants in Wales. The leek is, is well, the leek and the daffodil could each equally be said to be the national flower and, well, flower and vegetable, I suppose. I was going to say they're both the national flower, but one is a vegetable. Uh, okay, a hospital. It's locked. Open 9 to 3. Oh, well, what a stupid hospital is that? People get injured past 3, you know. Lewis's birthday. Vincent's... Wow, this is a very tight-knit community if they actually post their birthdays on some sort of public board. Hello, madam. Hello, you must be Avak, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Oh, what a beautiful name. My husband runs the general store here, and I... Uh, have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Ah, okay. It's an interesting one of a uh, way of describing your child. Dog. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Hello, Alex. What else have you got to say? I'll see you around. Very well. Hello, dog. Oh, this kind of looks like a bit of a rundown area. Uh, I'm not going to disturb you two. Hello. Why, hello and welcome to our little community here. Evelyn. You can call me Granny if you like. Uh, no, it's okay. I've already got a Gran. Thank you, though. The Star Drop uh, Saloon. Food and Spirits. Okay. 
So it is a place that a tired farmer needs to retire to over the evening. It is the saloon. Hello there, sir. Actually, does this just shop? Beer, salad, bread, spaghetti. Oh, I wouldn't mind some spaghetti. But I only got 250. What? These can't be gold. 250 for spaghetti. My goodness. Gus. Why, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Where I will take all of your money. I need a drink. Yeah, I do too after seeing how much spaghetti cons. Hi there, Abak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Ah. Okay, you... Kind of... Zero of ten. Okay. Well, at least I'm welcome. Hello! Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Emily. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Ah, oh, thank you very much for the invitation. Hello? Pam! Wow. Those eyebrows. That, that eye makeup. It gives you a very... Ming the Merciless look, honestly. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Hey, kid. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Uh, are you hinting? Because, like, no. I've only just met you. Oh, I can just play... Oh, that's kind of cool. Cloud Country. Sure. Ah, I like it. Okay, we're going to chill out to this one. I'm just going to have a quick look around the saloon. Then I think I'm going to end this episode there. Uh, oh wow, an arcade! How fantastic. Can I sit on the couches? Can I grab a pool? Ooh. Buy a Jojo? No. I worked for that slave driving company for far too long. I would never buy one of their products. Uh, can I look at the TV? No, can I not use it? Well, that's just rubbish. So I can use you. There's a skull shaped keyhole. Uh, okay. Journey of the Prairie King. Press space. Okay, we found a mini game. Um. All right. Okay, I found found a wee mini game. I am apparently a cowboy killing orcs. Oh. Be gone, devilish minions! Oh dear. Oh dear. I want the gold. Oh dear. Ah. Okay, I was going to wrap this episode up, but it appears that I am, uh, I have been drawn into a quest unexpectedly. And I will be damned if I fail this quest. Okay, I have no idea what all of these things do, but I am starting to- Ooh, the tea! I bet! Oh, wow. Ha ha I have upgraded my gun! You're doomed now. Uh, I think I missed the tea! Maybe it was I who was doomed. Yeah, I missed the T. Well, bugger it. Okay, well, that's that's good enough. I think we're going to end the episode there. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then consider leaving a like on the episode. It lets me know that you'd like to see more Stardew Valley in the future. And if you have any comments or critique, then by all means, leave a comment. But until next time, do take care.